Well, hello guys, and welcome to a brand new series of Pam's Harvest Craft. Boy, I am excited to be here, guys. Um, as you can see, I've actually already gotten started. What I did was a little stream on Twitch, which I am actually making a whole new channel so that I can upload videos so you guys can actually see what we did. But basically, I wanted to get started so I could find, uh, with a bunch of viewers, like a good seed. And this one is crazy. It's given me kind of like 1.12 vibes because we've got like jungle, we've got like mountains, and we've got like more taiga like over there as well and forest. It's just like really crazy like how many <laughs> biomes are all around here. But I'm sure you guys would like to know a little bit more about what we are doing this season right i'm just grabbing some wood guys because i want to make us like a little signpost so that i can explain to you what's going on so it's not just uh pam's harvest craft that we are doing this season i actually have a whole bunch of mods that we're going to talk about in a hot second after i sleep so a couple of different things going on this season first of all you will have noticed that the name is slightly different. This time it is called Harvest Craft Plus, and that is because I am playing with quite a few more different mods this time. We are playing obviously with all four of the Pam's Harvest Craft mods, which is starting with Food Core. That gives you all of these wonderful bakewares and things to make food with, just with the regular old vanilla recipes. We also have the Crops mod. Give me food. Yay, an onion which is obviously is what is adding all the funky little kind of gardens everywhere. I mean, mostly around here, it's just these like windy gardens, but like there are lots more. And I did manage to pick up my favorite, of course. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. Ah, yes, a soybean, which is only you get them from the jungle gardens. That is a very important one. We also have the trees mod. Gonna pick some cherries, which is how we're getting a whole bunch of different fruits and things that you can see hanging off trees and stuff. And finally, food extended is the most exciting one because that adds uh, using the crops and the trees, like an absolute metric ton of recipes to the game. It is my favorite. Oh, so good. I've also added um, a couple of resource packs just to make this like a bit more interesting. You guys have probably noticed that the, uh, the trees over here, some of them are different colors. So the resource packs that I'm using is Vanilla Tweaks, which is what I always use on uh, my other series. So that's like the Rainbow XP bar and certain things like grass looking better. And I've also added Jersey Boys uh, Better Leaves, which is where we get the lovely uh, yellow birch tree leaves. And what's really cool and funky about this is it's biome dependent as well. So if you plant a birch tree in a jungle and it's like definitely in a jungle biome, it's pink. It's so cute. So we'll get to experiment with that later. I also have just enough items, which obviously is what this is here. So this helps me to find different things. So if I search, I actually learned on stream recently, if you put at and then type like what the, the mod is. Ooh, look at that. I get like all the, the food core stuff. Yay, you can make bacon and all kinds of exciting things. Now, I've also changed the way that I'm going to play this because what I found last time when I was playing is that the mobs really kind of bothered me. I really want this to be like a peaceful farming experience. And there are like a lot more mods than this, but I'll kind of cover them as we go along. But I wanted to mention these two first because what this means is Craft Tweaker is why I randomly have a, P a prismarine shard <laughs> in here. And that's because anything that you can get from a mob, um, I've used craft tweaker to, to make craftables. So yeah, basically anything that I would normally have to farm from like killing skeletons or from like killing zombies, I can actually make with other things in the game. It is like a little bit grindy, but you know, I'm a farmer. And obviously to go along with that is bad mobs. And the reason I've got bad mobs is obviously like one of the things that people do is they type in a command and the game rule is do mob spawning false. And what that basically does is it stops mob from spawning just like anywhere in the world. So you still get things like cows and stuff because they actually come with world generation. But at nighttime, you don't get any mob spawning. But it does also mean that you don't get squid, you don't get fish, and you don't get extra animals appearing in gr grassy plains. So that was kind of annoying. And it also means that spawners still work because they don't follow like the normal rules of mob spawning so it wasn't exactly ideal 
So with bad mobs, what I've actually done is just turned everything off. All the hostile mobs are turned off. Um, all the spawners are turned off and all of the passive mobs and the mobs that like are peaceful are turned on, which means that I have left some mobs in the nether. But we will come to that much later when I eventually, I eventually get up my courage to go to the nether. So if we come across a spawner, Ain't ain't nothing gonna happen. <laughs> ain't ain't nothing gonna happen. Um, it is basically completely peaceful. We have to farm absolutely everything. So this is going to be really, really interesting. <laughs> Now I had decided in stream that I was gonna move myself like over this hill here. So all the way over here, jumping over the hills, past the horses. You can see that I've laid out like a couple of blocks and like a little chest over here. But you know what? I've kind of changed my mind. I quite fancy staying over here, kind of overlooking the jungle, and I can still have like a lot of area to build up like a nice decent farm and probably like a bit of, um, you know, an orchard as well before I kind of move on to maybe bigger things. I don't really have like a super set plan for what I'm going to do with this season. You know, obviously last time I built like a whole town, um, but we'll see where we go. We'll see what I feel like. Now, I obviously have a mine already, you know, otherwise I wouldn't have like a bunch of diamond tools, which is over there. And I think actually staying in this area means means that I will have access to that. I've got access to the jungle. I've got access to all this over here. So I think the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to gather some resources and, uh, and then I think we'll start building our first house. So this is the design of the house so far. Um, I've decided, you know, because I'm kind of like lacking a bit of challenge in terms of mobs, I thought I would challenge myself a little bit more with my building. So uh, we're going for a three step diagonal here. I've obviously put a little place for our doorway and also this is obviously going to be the chimney. Now I'm not 100% sure that I have all the resources that I need to finish this, but I think what we'll do guys is, um, yeah, let's build together. There we go guys, that is the exterior of the house finished. Now obviously I quite like to use wool usually for my roofs, but uh, I don't have a wool farm at the moment, so I've just gone with full logs of spruce. And uh, it's not too bad actually, I could have done with a little bit of dark oak maybe, but I can always add things to this over time, such as the actual interior. So there's not much going on in here at the moment. I decided not to do it off camera, because uh, there's a couple of mods in here that I think you guys might find interesting. So I've done a little kind of kitchen area 
area and I've put all the Pam's Harvest crafting stuff here ready to use. We also have a little upstairs area which of course has a classic, a classic red Minecraft bed. Now some of these things are just placeholders so eventually like these will be library books and I'm gonna have some other stuff in here. I'm gonna have kind of like a little potting area as well you know because I'm a, I'm a farmer, I'm a horticulturalist. I need a little area to do all that kind of stuff and obviously this is the kitchen it's very basic. I don't have a chest storage as such apart from I basically moved them all back here so they would kind of be close to where I'm working but I think what we'll do is um, I was thinking about doing a basement but I don't need to do a basement because there are no mobs anywhere. See the lack of mobs. <laughs> so um, I don't need to go underground and hide underground as I normally would. I can just I can just make another nice building that I can skip and hop over to and it'll have my chest storage in. Uh, but the next thing I actually want to do is move this thing. I'm not particularly using this thing to get food. I'm actually just using these berries uh, to get myself a little bit of compost so I can have some bone meal, which would be very useful for the next thing we've got to do, which is make a ginormous wheat field. The wheat field is going to be very important, uh, not just for food, but for another mod that I've added. I think you guys will find very interesting. And there we go. This is so that I can go along here and grab the berries and don't like sting myself. So let's pop the composter back down. And then basically all I do, and no torches, <laughs> is I just fill her on up. And then we end up with another torch, <laughs> but some compost. So I think that's not too bad actually. That kind of finishes that off nicely. The next mod I actually want to talk to you guys about is XP from Harvest. Now, obviously, because I'm playing without any kind of monsters, my XP farm has like dramatically decreased. Although I do have a little craft tweaker solution for that, but that's for much, much later on in the game after we've like been to the nether and been to the end. So I'll, I'll talk about that later. So I thought I'm going to need something that is going to help me to get XP. And normally in Pam's Harvest Craft, it has this cool little feature where if you right click, no torches, why am I having a torch day today? <laughs> um, the thing will be picked and then automatically like replanted so this works on these as well so i can take them and i'm uh, 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 uh. anyway <laughs> so yeah you can just right click and it auto replants okay now this mod watch what happens when i punch this ah, got, a little, got a little xp there i'm really intrigued to see if it will work on the pan's harvest craft stuff as well doesn't look like it does okay so it's only wheat that's okay though because that means that i can create like kind of like an a wheat xp farm i guess the more wheat we have i wonder it might work with carrots and potatoes but we're gonna need to find ourselves a little village if we want to do that so I've just found out that you can't actually hoe podzle. I did not know that. <laughs> and I've been playing Minecraft for quite a long time, so I'm gonna dig this up. Basically what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm kind of, I've like done like a little kind of natural looking shape, which is gonna be half of the wheat field. There's gonna be a path in between, and then there's gonna be another half over here, kind of leading up to here, I guess. And I might do what I did last season, and have maybe like a little dock, and maybe like a little boat that's delivering some goods from like down the river and then obviously it's going to head off somewhere in that direction. But I'm going to start by getting rid of that. The reason I have pods all is obviously because I've been growing the really big, <laughs> the big spruce trees. And I was just like, yeah, I'll just leave it there and it'll all be fine. <laughs> I might actually leave some of it. Now, uh, there's a tree here as well. I grew this uh, because one of the things that you get quite a lot in England actually is that there does tend to be quite a lot of trees between fields as like a natural way to keep some of the natural habitat here. So like the bugs and things that would normally come and kind of help with the growth of the plants and stuff so that's like a nice little touch there and it's grown into quite a nice tree actually so i probably won't fiddle with the shape of that too much but anyway i'm going to finish this wheat field and we'll see where we're at I've extended the wheat field a little bit closer to the house because I thought it was looking a little bit small the way I had it but what I've done is kind of left some of the grass and some of the windy gardens to make it look a bit rougher like it's like not as well cared for you know like the main brunt of it is going to be like down the end. I mean I'm probably going to accidentally break these at some point <laughs> but it's still quite nice to have them there and actually use them kind of decoratively because unfortunately you can't actually pick these up like you used to be able to in 1.12 so you just kind of have to make do with what you got. 
Um, I also kept running into the house whenever I wanted to get something. It's like my natural response to just like run into a house whenever I need something. So I decided to make a back door so I can run straight through to my chests <laughs> instead of it being like really annoying and have to like run all the way around. Now I thought what we would do guys to finish off, because I've been AFK here for a while whilst I was like eating dinner, um, I've got quite a lot of wheat, so I think we should make something. Now credit where credit is due guys, one of the reasons that I was inspired to do this series kind of like peaceful is because I actually found a data pack by a guy called Codemouse92, um, but unfortunately his data pack only works for uh, 1.16.2 and we're actually playing in 1.16.4 but it's really good so if you want to have like a peaceful experience where you're kind of like I don't know uh, wanting to be able to do the things that I'm doing kind of like a bit grindy making things a lot of my recipes were inspired by his recipes I'm maybe failing to do this at the moment <laughs> this is what happens when you try and talk and like make recipes at the same time right let me do this okay right so we can make wheat recipes but yeah i definitely recommend giving it a try i'll link it down in this description so you guys can kind of see like what it's all about and uh yeah have a go at using it that's if you want to kind of do like a vanilla experience of this but eventually i will have this out as a mod pack when i've kind of worked out some of the kinks right so salt and water i should remember that recipe from last time let's grab that now i seem to remember that you make salt by using a water like that all right let's get eight of those Nice, and then we can make quite a few other things. Right, let's make some dough. Uh, why you no work? Because it's the mixing bowl, <laughs> not the bakeware. <laughs> why am I so dumb? There we go. <laughs> right, now I want to see what I've got in the old chest. Now, most of these I don't have doubles of, but apples we can get pretty easily and sweet berries as well. So let's take one of those and one of those. I hope you don't need two of them, though we can probably solve that problem pretty quickly by just grabbing a whole bunch of these. Right, this time I am going to need the bakeware for definite. Let's see if I can remember it. Ooh, do you know what else we're going to need, guys? We're going to need sugar. This is why I need to find a village so I can get some beetroot, because that's like another really good source of sugar. First thing I'm going to do when I get any amount of quartz is make a sugarcane farm and a bamboo farm because they are really useful. Right, come on memory, don't fail me now. I think it is like this. Yes! Oh yes! And we can make a sweet berry pie. Let's make two. And then we've got one more left to make something else. Oh yeah, yeah. look at that. First pieces of food that we have made in the series. Yay! I think guys that is all the time that we're gonna have for today I'm afraid I'm just gonna set up a little cocoa bean farm whilst I'm here good thing about being next to a jungle is I'm never gonna be short of cocoa beans and uh yeah I really hope you enjoyed this guys it's so good to be back in harvest craft again and I'm so pleased to be trying out like a whole bunch of different mods it is gonna be fantastic so hopefully I will catch you guys in the next episode and let's have a good old chat about what we should be doing in this series. I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.